Hey guys, um, I hope the lighting in here is good. I'm sure it is. And I'm like so scary every time I like put my face right in the camera. Um, what's up? Okay, so today I am I am gonna be doing like a day to night thing. I don't I haven't done like day to night with you guys. Not even like it's not gonna be a sit down. I'm gonna be doing a vlog, but um I am gonna be going to dinner tonight and so I just figured I would do a day to night and show you guys what I do and what I wear and makeup and all that kind of stuff and then I'm gonna take you along with me to do some shit I have to do okay so that's it right, I'm gonna get started because I can take forever um, to talk you know that I'm gonna first start out with what am I gonna start with uh, my I always wear my Sulasu in the morning this is my cream I wear um, and this is just, I, I'm honestly not going to really get ready. Like, this is what I do every, every day. Um, because you guys know I go to, like, I go to work. And it's like my office is very casual. Like, I'm not getting dressed up to go to my office and make jewelry. So that's, um, this is like, I hardly wear any makeup. I really do. Um, but I'm going to show you what I do. Okay. Then I always, this is what I've been using lately. You guys know this. I've shared this before. It's my Clé de Peau. Um, it's my bougie, like I, it's like BB cream. I don't know. I, I call it my BB cream and it, there's not very much coverage in it. Um, but I really, really love it. It's, you can build it. You know what I mean? Like you can keep adding. I hate that like my nose is red right here. I like, oh, I have the correcting. I need to use my corrector for that. But because in the like I would use my corrector that my color science corrector for that, but that's at night. I'm not gonna do that right now. Like I, would, I don't um, pay too much attention to that in the morning. But the thing that makes me lately, you guys know I shared this, look like super presentable. Let me get something to wipe my lips. So gross. I hate when I have like. Sorry, how do you want my like lips look dead? You know what I mean? Um, the thing that I've been using, and I shared this on my Instagram last week, um, is the Color Science Total Eye. It's three in one product that they have. So basically I use this and I use like this and then I pretty much leave. I do do maybe some eyeshadow and I have a lip, like a lip gloss that I really love, I'll show you. Um, but this really, really make, okay, so my problem is I have freckles you guys know that all over my face right like freckles all over my face that kind of make me look like they could be dark circles because they're um like in groupings you know so I have like groupings of dark spots and I've tried the what's that one by uh YSL that everyone uses that I don't know it's like a brightener and under eye thing I don't for that for some reason that one never like did anything for me this is such a great tool all right let me show you so there's a little metal tool at the top and you push and the product will come out, okay? And I'm gonna just put some dots right here. And it's, remember last time when I used Color Science, how like instantly my redness went away and I was like shocked by it because nothing ever like shocks me. I'm like, what the hell, like nothing ever works, but this actually works. Um, so this tool, what I, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but this is what I do. I take this tool, because it's like a cool metal, right? It feels cool. And I kind of dab everything, just to kind of smooth it, and it starts to de-puff my eyes. Like it really starts to feel, even when I take it away, it feels like there was ice on my face. It's so, so cool. Um, then I take my finger, and I'm just going to dab, and it's gonna completely de-puff it's going to make me look so awake and there is one annoying wrinkle that I have and it's not the like the eye wrinkle it's like a wrinkle right here that I don't know how it does it but it just takes it away I feel so much like I look so much more awake but the main thing that I like is that it covers my uh, my ugly freckles I don't mind my freckles but I have ugly ones that look like dark spots it covers them and not in a cakey way you guys know I don't like cakey shit this is not cakey it's really amazing I'm gonna put a little bit up here too I don't know why my eye sockets are dark and when I do dead girl look I don't mind that you know it doesn't matter but I have like a darker eye socket and this just totally 
brightens up my eyes. And I told you, like, not in, I should have used this because I, I like to apply it like this with the cooling because it just feels like, even when I take it off, it was like, I feel like I had ice on my face. It's so nice. Um, that, that's the product I'm using. This Deep Puffer Brightener Define de Line, and I'm going to say Defreckler for me because my freckles, they are almost like a red brown tint. And I don't feel like, I feel like when I try to cover them, it's too obvious. So this, I use this and I use my Clay Depot. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of my Amore Pacific spray on just to kind of. I just like a very dewy finish. Um, and then I'm going to put some of my new, this is my favorite stuff right now. You guys know this. I'm not going to, I'm going to like botch the name. It's K J A E R Weiss cut K. Okay. I can't say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to ruin, I'm going to ruin it. It's this brand. I will put links to everything below. Oh, I forgot to say, um, this is just the lip balm. I, it's like in a really pretty black sleek package. I forgot to say um, that there's a code for my three, in, this, not my, oh my God, <laughs> for my three, for uh, the Color Science 3-in-1 from me. So this Color Science 3-in-1, last time I gave you guys a code for something else, this time there's a code and you get a free mascara. Um, I have not tried the mascara, so tonight when I put mascara on, I'll be using this and we'll try it together, but you get a free full-size mascara from Color Science. Um, with the code, um, I'll put it down below. I think it's like HRH Total Eye or something like that. So it's below, and you get free mascara, and you get and when you buy this Total Eye, which is a must. Like I said, if you guys do purchase that YSL, I think I have a sample in here. Yes, this, this. I was using it, and I don't like it. The um, okay, everyone uses this, right? Um, the Touche Eclat, this thing. Okay, everyone has this, right? This gold thing. This I like so much better. This one, I it doesn't, for me, it, yeah, it brightens, but it doesn't give any coverage, like at all. I can put it on and then I cover it and it, you can still see everything. This gives a really nice finish to your face. Um, and I would compare it, I feel like that, it's like the same idea, like, except this is way more backup. This is more of a scientific thing. There's like deep puffer in it, it's fine line, all that kind of stuff, it's different. But this is like the kind of same, I, I relate it to that, I'm not like a huge makeup person. Um, then I'm gonna use this, um, the same brand that lives at the Kajer Cut Care Weiss. Oh my God, see, I just forget it. Um, I, I, any company, these companies are gonna hate me because I can't even like pronounce their names. Not like they care that I'm talking about them, but still like can't even say my name, bitch. Okay, um, so that, and then sometimes I do do some eyeshadow. But I don't think I'm going to. I'm like loving the brightness right now of my eyes, and I feel like very re like refreshed. Maybe I'll put like a little bit of bronzer on, just like a little tiny bit. I have my Victoria Beckham. My Victoria Beckham, just to warm myself up a little bit. I mean, this is way more than I'm doing than I should than I would normally do, honestly. what I'm doing and then I mean I could put like you guys I'm kind of obsessed with this shit oh, wow you guys <laughs> I'm in a rental car right now. How the fuck am I gonna vlog? I need to, oh my God. This is the stupidest shit ever. Why doesn't it go down? Jesus, okay. Um, hi! Oh my God, like living in this little hole. And the camera's not gonna stay there once I get going, fuck. Um, okay, so I am taking you guys with me because I ran out of, you know that sparkling apple water that I want? Um, my supermarket that I go to doesn't carry it anymore. When they lied to me and told me they were gonna get it back in, they never got it back in. And like, I don't wanna just, I'm gonna have to hold this when I'm driving, I'm probably gonna crash. Um, so they told me they're gonna bring it back in and they didn't bring it back in. And um, maybe I can put it on my good side now though. Okay. Um, told me they're gonna bring it back in, they didn't bring it back in. But they have this Lean Cuisine there and 
they don't have this one or they haven't seen I have not seen this one at a Ralph's or anything it's like this this place this uh, grocery store I go to is more like a like a small mom and pop grocery store so they have like more unique things I think and I'm gonna get it with you guys because I had this link cuisine for dinner and it was so fucking bomb I am so shocked you guys you need to get it and then I'm gonna go to world market because I heard some of you guys were saying that you found this um, that apple sparkling water at world market so that's where we're going right now um, okay I do want to bring something up though with you guys. I feel like I'm like scolding people, but I'm not. I, I also think that you guys are going to think I'm a bitch, but you guys are not thinking about it from my point of view. And I'm not speaking for any other bloggers. You guys don't like talk to like you Instagrammers or vloggers. Like it's not that I don't talk to them. It's just like, I don't, like, I don't know. I just like, I, I'm like, I don't know. They would never probably want to even talk to me. Um, I'm not, so I'm not speaking for anyone, but, um, I need to address something with you guys that I'm a little like getting a little bit irritated with and when I say you guys it's not it's not it's probably like one percent you know what I mean but I'm just saying okay when I when I put a photo up on Instagram or whatever I promise you guys like I will tell you where I got something if I can tell you where I got something if I know where I got it if it's not hundred years old if it's like if I haven't tagged it four million times in the past like are a big question okay these sunglasses are Celine I've been wearing them for over a year now and I've mentioned them countless times and every single time I wear them people ask where I get them and then people will ask again where I get them so it's like I don't know what to do about it like I'm not gonna every single time I post something I have to like say the same thing over again it gets to be exhausting and daunting and sometimes like I take a good picture and I don't really want to put it up because I know I'm not gonna be able to say where something's from and that's gonna be like the the subject matter is it's even though it's not like for example something that really is annoying to you is like is like the constant questions about where I know this is you guys I'm like you're such a fucking bitch but please don't think, think like please think about it from my, my perspective like people are like oh my god where do you get your nails where do you get your nails and where do you get your nails and all the time like First of all, I don't go to one specific person. I used to go to one specific person. I don't go to that person anymore. I haven't been to her in like over a year. Um, and even if I did go to a specific person, I don't know if I would say it, it necessarily unless she was okay with it, unless everything was okay, unless like unless I knew I could like get an appointment again because I feel like if I... I know it sounds so snobby, but like I feel like in the past I have mentioned something to someone. I have like shared something and the person got mad like the person who I mentioned where I went they got mad because they didn't want to be shared and I after another time it's like I literally could never get an appointment again like she all of a sudden like was constantly booked and I was like so annoyed by it so it's just, I don't know I just want am I, am I allowed to have anything private like am I allowed to not share something if I don't want to I don't know another one is like the mirror in my living room I get every time I put up a picture it's like people ask me where'd you get the mirror and I know it's like you haven't heard it in the past but I feel like I've said it so many times I just don't know I'm not mad I'm not like yelling at you guys I just don't know like I this is the way I feel like I'm not gonna fucking say every single time where I got the mirror like I just don't want to first of all I got the mirror from like an estate garage sale like closeout thing it wasn't even like it's what do you want me to do like I say that every time like oh it's so annoying I just think that you guys need to be a little bit more resourceful. Like, for example, I'm gonna actually <laughs> give myself an example, right? You know Elle Ferguson, right? That blogger, that gorgeous girl in um, in Sydney. So uh, about three years ago, when I first started wearing those like one teaspoon shorts, I could have easily, she, was, she wasn't tagging one teaspoon in her stuff. This is like right when one teaspoon was coming out. She wasn't tagging one teaspoon in her, um, in her pictures. Um, she was just wearing them and she people were asking where'd you get the shorts 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 it was like and instead of me saying where'd you get the shorts too why don't you like I'm I was like I'm sure she's posted before where she's gotten these shorts if I really 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 want those shorts I will go back which I did and fucking stalked her page and found out they were one teaspoon like I really wish that instead of you guys just being like, I don't wanna say you guys, I, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, like I don't mean to do that. Like, there's probably one person out there, but it's just something that's really annoying. Um, saying like, just, just being, saying, like, being so lazy, like, where'd you get that? Like, if you really want that item, please go back and look. I, I don't know, like I've said it in the past. And then yesterday it was annoying too. I was like really annoyed and this is kind of what brought it about 
is like I was wearing this Vivian Westwood sweater and I knew I, I knew when I posted it I had nothing to tag I didn't know where it was from a friend sent it to me who lives in Singapore and I knew when I put it up it was gonna be like very exciting for people because it's a really cute sweatshirt but I don't know what to say and everyone started asking like where it's from and then I said a friend sent it to me and then people were like oh well is it authentic it's not like bitch like I don't fucking know it was a fucking gift like I, I don't know why I'm getting so high, low, angered I'm just like if you really want it that bad go type in Vivian Westwood sweatshirt gray pink I don't know like do something like try and be a little more resourceful I just feel like people are getting so lazy with this Instagram thing just expecting influencers I hate that fucking word to like do just to like tell you everything give you the exact link um, give you your fucking pant my underwear size my bra size every single thing you guys want it's like it's a little bit much and I know I'm going on a rant here but this was like a mellow rant. I could have gone on a real rant. I could have gone on like a real Alex rant and it would have been like, I might, you know what I mean? But I think I like gave you guys like a very PG rant. I don't know. I don't mean to be a bitch. I just feel like, I feel like there's a lot of like laziness out there. Like if you really, really, I, I, I'm not trying to hide shit from you. And like, oh God, like the sunglass thing too. It's like, where I've mentioned it. And if I mentioned it one, two, three, four, five, ten times, I really don't want to mention it again after that. Like, I really don't want to mention it again after that. Do I have to mention it after that? No, I don't fucking have to, but I have. And I, I don't want to do it for the twelfth time. Like, I, I just don't. It just becomes boring for me. Get the fuck off of my ass. Fuck you. Fucking dick. You're such a fucking asshole on your motorcycle. Like, you revving your engine at me. Um, you guys hate me now, probably, whatever. I don't fucking care. I think a lot of you guys understand, out there will understand. I mean, I don't want you to, like, not ask me. I promise you I will tag things or I have tagged things. And if you really want, like, I tag things all the time. Um, but also, you know, maybe if I haven't said any, where it's from, maybe I don't have to say where it's from. Like, I, I feel like I don't really have to tell you guys my, my damn underwear size if I don't want to. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I, in a selfish way don't want everyone to go out and get this specific, this like specific like vase I have or something I don't know even though that's not true because I have tagged everything like I have tagged everything at least one or two times it's just when it becomes a constant question like it's just annoying it's really really annoying to me yeah the nails thing is like I don't even want to show my nails anymore because I feel like it's just it just becomes like I get it you I get it my nail like you guys like my nails like but it's just, I don't know. It's not that hard. You guys know I go to Koreatown to get my nails done. So go Yelp Koreatown nails, okay? Do some fucking homework. It doesn't have to be the same girl that I go to. Even though I don't go to the same same girl all the time. I try different things. Like, experiment for yourself. Try new things. Do a little research. Do a little fucking recon, okay? I, I promise you. Just put a little bit of elbow grease and, like, lay it, like, what's it called? Into, like, finding out what it, that thing is that you really want, okay? Like, ugh. I don't know. Whatever. You guys are gonna hate me now. You guys are gonna fucking hate me, right? I don't know. Okay, my battery is dying and I'm in this rental car. Um, because, oh yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I didn't... I am getting a service. Okay! I'm trying to vlog, so what? Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me, uh... Um... Get out. Okay. You know what? Fine. Cut me off. I don't care. Um... I, I gotta go. What? What? What am I doing? Waters I got. Kudos are freaking props to anyone who told me. Or someone was like, "Oh my God, get them here or whatever." Um, some candles too, but look at. I found them. They were at World Market. So I'm so stoked. And then I got these candles. They smell, it says Plumeria Garden. You guys know I'm obsessed with Plumeria. Can I show you the creepiest fucking thing? Okay, I opened up this rental car. Look what was inside of here. Okay, I bought this rug for the kitchen, but this picture of like this old woman was like sitting like that. <laughs> Isn't that like the creepiest thing? She's like a pretty old lady, but I saw like from her memorial or something, like so sad. You guys know, like this, my gosh, this video is ending up turning into like a justification fucking video as always. But I do want to say one thing because I was thinking back, like there, if you like, there are people I talk to, 
like DM, talk to, like we're like, we we talk to each other and stuff. So if you're one of the people out there who are like, oh my God, like, does she hate me for asking? Like, no, if we talk and stuff, that's fine. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like if we talk, like, oh, where'd you get that by the way? Like, that's cool. I'm talking about like the relentless, like just aimless, like, where'd you get that? 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 Where'd, like when it's already been posted, that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. So like friends that I've made or, you know, like longtime followers who I talk to, stuff like that. Like, don't, don't think that this is about you. It's not. Um, so I'm now ready to make this. I honestly try to wait as long as I can to have lunch. I know this is what I do because I'm a light eater more than like a day eater and I just don't want to snack. So it's like, what is it? Like three o'clock now? It should be like 3.30 right now. Um, okay. This is the new lean cuisine that I found. It's probably, you guys probably already had that, whatever. Okay. It's called, and I wasn't like, I'm not a big barbecue chicken fan. Um, cause I don't really like sweet dinner like I like sweets but not for dinner so barbecue is kind of sweet even though I do like barbecue sauce I just like to dip things every once in a while I don't really like barbecue chicken but this is barbecue or chicken in sweet barbecue sauce tender white meat chicken in a sweet barbecue sauce with cheesy potatoes okay oh and by the way it's gluten free too okay <laughs> okay so it does not look appetizing when you open it this is what the package looks like all right, I'm gonna make it now, um, three minutes, and then stir, and then two minutes. So I'm gonna put this in here. Oh. Okay, three minutes. Um, you guys, it is, it is so good. I'll show you later. But I'm gonna pour myself some of the um, sparkling apple right now too. Why is the green top? It used to be like a blue top, which I liked better. I don't like the green. Volvic did that too. Remember, Volvic added the green top. What the fuck? I hate green. I don't green top. I mean, I don't hate green. I just don't know why I don't like green tops. I don't like green tops. Oh my god. It's even better than I remembered it, you guys. It's even better than I remembered it. It is so. It's like mineral water with just a hint of apple juice. It is so good. And the bubbles are fine, like very fine bubbles. Okay, now I have to pick out my plate because I use different plates with different type foods. Like if I'm gonna do a Chinese or like a Japanese, like an Asian whatever version, lean cuisine, I'll have like, I'll put everything in like a bowl with chopsticks. Um, you know I mean? Just, <laughs> it just depends. So I think the only thing with this is that because there's like two areas, I wanna keep them separate, so I'm not gonna actually transfer it, so it's not gonna look so good, but I, whatever. All right. I'm just gonna put it on plates. Just a white plate, this is just a thin white plate. Um, just to carry it over with a fork. Um, no chopsticks with this. I mean, I could use chopsticks, but because I'm like picking back and forth, um, because I'm picking back and forth, I feel like I don't need chopsticks. I'm already eating slow enough by doing that. You guys, okay, I have all the tricks in the book to like not eat a lot, okay? I eat whatever. Table right now, and I want to show you what it looks like, even though it's not appetizing. It does not look appetizing right now because it's not, it's in like the container that it came in. My, things are a weird length right now. Um, so I don't even know if I show you. I'll show you, but it, it looks way better than it tastes. And then if you deep plate it yourself, um, it, or if you plate it yourself, it looks way, or it even look, it tastes better, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a bite. And then the sides of the potatoes, because they're the cheesy potatoes, it like crisps up. It's so good. It is so good. It's not like, um, fake cheese tasting and then the barbecue sauce is light I can see there's oil in here too like I don't know this is all under 300 calories too I think it's 280 or something I love it it was like the best barbecue sauce 
So then I can like go back and take a little bit of chicken and like a little bit of potato and Ming is begging, I know. It's so good, you guys. But I, um, I, you know, I try my best to eat as slowly as I can because the portion isn't like a portion that I would normally eat. Like I probably eat three times as much as this, you know? So just, you know, be more like thoughtful when you're eating, mindful. Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna get ready to go out dinner. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just do a smooth things out. And then to make my face really bright, I'm gonna go back and use my Color Science 3 in 1, the total eye. Um, like I did this morning. I feel like when I use, when I retouch with this at night, I actually don't need to put any more BB cream on. Because when I do BB cream, I'm not even like that careful about where I put it. Um, so when I do this, I kind of bring it down too at night because the color is so nice. Um, I don't only use it on my eyes, I kind of like use it, well, you know, like around my eyes too. Oh, you can really see the difference now at night with this lighting, it's really good. See how pretty that is? Okay, now you can see how amazing it is. Hopefully, like, because my viewfinder, I can't tell what you can really see because it was just a small viewfinder. Um, look at how nice that is. It just covered up all of that darkness that I have. Um, mostly freckles, like sun damage. This is also SPF um, 35 too, which is good because I'm really bad. Like, eyes are the first things to go, right? You know what I mean? And I don't feel like I remember that enough. I'm gonna put some above just on the eyebrow, not on like the eye socket this time. See how instantly my face is just like smoothed and brightened? Okay, this. Don't forget to get this, you guys. I'm putting the link below and the code and then we're gonna use my mascara that you're gonna get for free too. I keep on saying my mascara. <laughs> Color Science Mascara. Just keep packing, keep packing. You know what I like to do too during the day? Like remember I told you guys sometimes I wear a mascara or eyeshadow during the day. Um, I wear it with no mascara, and I did that last week on like a Sunday during the day. At night, um, I wear mascara if I wear it, and during the day I don't typically. Um, and then Nick even was like, "Oh, I like your." Um, he's like, "I like your eye makeup." Like, okay, thanks. Nick, how did you notice that? I'm gonna go really close to my waterline for this. While still keeping that brightness. And I think it, this, un, when I do the underline like this, it makes my, the brightness of the color science I just used, the three in one pop even more. Actually, I love it. See, it just like, the, oh, I, know, I, just, I love it, I love that product. <gasps> I love these pro that product and the products I've been using lately generally, I just really like them. Okay, um, and then I'll use a little bit, actually I'll use this in a second. I'm gonna do some eyebrows. Okay. There's that. Okay, um, and then mascara. Okay, let's do the mascara. I'm excited to try this. This is the Color Science Mascara that I told you 400 times because I repeat myself all the time, but you're gonna be getting it for free. And um, let's try it. So here's the brush, it's a big fluffy brush. I love a big fluffy brush. That is very important to me. I'll use Heart's little mirror. Okay, let's see, is there anything like that I should say about this mascara? Oh, there's a peptide blend, helps nourish and condition. I figured it wasn't just like a nothing mascara because it's color science. Okay, so that's the mascara. Done with that. Um, and let's put on some bronzer, just a little bit of bronzer. My Victoria Beckham bronzer again.
like that. Okay, and I think that's it. So I'll show you what I'm wearing. I added my um, Chow Bella long choker, and then I add. I had this on. No, did I have it on? What did I have on? So yeah, I just added my choker, my Chow Bella long choker, and then I put my gold rings on, and then I put on my one dollar Chanel boots, and um, I put on this Zara sweater, and I kept my same leggings on. So I'll show you. <laughs> Seriously, we're just going to Mexican food. It's not like a big deal. So this is like my easy transition day to night, like what I would normally do. Okay, I'm not gonna put that much effort into changing my whole look. I have used my same makeup, like makeup that I know will last me all day. Touch up a little bit, change my jewelry. That's it. <laughs> Let me show you my outfit now. Same outfit, same leggings. My $1 Chanel boots, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Chanel bag and my oversized Zara. I love this stack, so pretty. Love it. It's coming out kind of orangey gold here when it's not. It's actually like the perfect nice there. Is that better? I feel like no, it's still coming out like not the color that I, my viewfinder is weird though, I can't tell. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you like this video. I'm gonna go eat Mexican food now. I'm so excited. Okay, fat ass. I'm kidding. Okay, bye. <laughs>